This one's called Jam Wars. Um, it's about being in your car and racing to work or just going here and there and never having any time. It's called Jam Wars. Jam Wars, racing down 52, passing me, passing you, pulling out, moving through, music blasting. Who are you? Moving forward, zig getting through, zigzag zigging, zigzag zogging, zigzag zigging, zigzag zogging. In and out and in and out and in and out again, along the 52, pulling long faces, pulling long faces. There's hand gestures, gestures, pulling long faces, and gestures, not an inch gained, jam wars. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, your shot's gone. Shot's gone. Too late. Shot's gone. Too late. Should have used that one. Too late. Shot closed down. No bargains, no sales, no customers. Where were you when it was open? Good night. <laughs> Thank you.
Good evening and welcome to nothing much. No, talk about Nelson and the loving touch. Comfort and the joy of feeling loved. We're the only living boy in New York. an oddball, lonesome and queer. Never shall you talk to him. Let him get near. But if he does approach you, better run and hide. These are the stereotypes some mothers had as guides. Always be suspicious. Always on your guard. Never trust anyone. It isn't very hard. <laughs> it isn't like us. So always cross the road. Language is different. I can't crack the code. Some said he was foreign. Others mentioned gay. If you see him in the streets nearby, don't greet him. Run away! <laughs> Remember a little different. Strange. Another way. 
careful, does it, ignorance? Eat and eat away. Rot and maybe fester. Leave alone today. Cross the street and bow your head and hope it goes away. Do we have to have this happen? Are you going to act this way? Be responsible for your actions. We can't act another way. Do we hold a hand of friendship and offer to break bread? Or turn away in anger with threats of you are dead? <laughs> called air swimming. Keep the riffraff in. You've been blackballed, sonny. There's no other way. Just tilt her on the edge till the wind is swaying. Don't look down. It'll make you sick. It won't take long to go splat. But what would you recall in the moments before that? And was he pushed? He didn't fall. Perhaps he tripped. No one up there. There's no one up there. Did he jump then? Or was he caught by the wind? He dropped like a stone. Fudum. Then nothing. So quick. Swimming in the air. The demented actions of the last moments of life. And he's air swimming. Or he's trying to... Gulp up all the invisible marshmallows he can! With both arms! And is it fear on his face? Or shock? Or what? Or oh, it's too late? If you didn't notice? Should I call an ambulance? Or am I wasting my time? I think he's dead. Good night. <laughs> So this is called the Hugging School. At the Hugging School, we all learn to hug. Our motto, hugging is less unsightly than wind farms as a source of renewable energy. Our mentors will tailor an individual hugging program for you based on your previous hugging experience and family background. <laughs> Two popular classes. One, the long, soft hug with smiling face over shoulder. Two, the well-meant but quick pat on the back hug for those with a more nervous disposition. <laughs> we run special modules for men which include an almost invisible hug using two little fingers. <laughs> Peace hugs and hugs against war are well established classes. Mohair hugs, dungaree hugs, yes a bit last millennium but the courses are still running at our centre <laughs> in Hepton Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't sure if that joke would work here but it does, I'm glad. A crash course day school leads you through the options at the standoff moment, role playing how to smoothly move into the healthy <laughs> hug or the hearty handshake as you choose. Our full weekend courses with tears can help you soften those family hugs, exorcising the muscle tensions derived from years of sibling cruelties and jealousies. <laughs> if you want a taster, why not try the party class, the drug hug, the just gonna give you a hug hug. You want references, I hear. Blair and Bush trained with us in the public pragmatic hug and their specialism, the United Front. Our advanced courses include the sumo hug, the ex-lover hug, accompanied by flashbacks of candles or knives. The bitching hug, insincere smile over shoulder. We are currently working in partnership with the Home Office, developing a hugging programme for habitual offend offenders. Hug a thug. <laughs> Our research shows hermits will find hugs in dreams. Footballers will run forever to earn the next leap in the air 
and cuddle. <laughs> Thank you. Um, anyway, so this is um, this is assembly rooms. It's called not a very exciting title, but assembly rooms. Plastic lagers and packed sticky floor, black curtains, dry ice, Derby folk night. Gig frocks and ponytails. Aid Edmondson is playing folk versions of punk anthems. God save the Queen, a fascist regime. Post Arab Spring, occupy everything. The fiddler rocks out reels. A smell, silk cut, king size, and grass. Sex pistols at Cleopatra's 1976. And the Yulian pipes grieve dark, watery wailings out through walls to Derbyshire fields and mills and chimneys, where the first factory rises. Your future dream is a shopping scheme. I am an anarchist. This is bad shepherds stirring their flocks as markets tumble. Take me to the river, folk punk, England's old dissenters. Soft, angry angels fly again the hills. This is middle-aged shout-out, white riot, I want a riot of my own, London calling to the faraway towns, clash, King's Hall, because who is talking about Derby in the 1970s? Where fists once punched the air, mobile phones glimmer. Aid has a bad toe, is wearing slippers, yet still they're rocking it. Anger is an energy, but almost no one is moving except us, a few at the back, die-hard joy monster. How can you resist anarchists shouting loud and jumping, trying to combine Irish jig and pogo? <laughs> <laughs> and you may ask yourself, how did I get here? And you may ask yourself, how did I get here? And you may ask yourself, how did I get here? Listening to thrash mandolin near the home of the Pentridge Rebellion 200 years ago, wanting to wipe the national debt, needing to protest, not knowing what or how. Same as it ever was, same as it ever was, same as it ever was, same as it ever was. Could you play it on an acoustic guitar? What? 
Yeah. He was in the room. <laughs>